welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to let you guys know that i am going to be starting a ketogenic diet um i've been doing a lot of research on it and the benefits just seem really good i'm actually going to do a little workout i wanted to show you guys the items that i've bought and come and i'm going to show you what i'm going to combine it with i printed off this really informative like keto guide off the internet um, it's like 20 pages long, but I printed it off and it has some really good information. I've been watching other YouTubers like Thomas. Yeah, he's like a fitness guy. And he knows a lot. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been watching his videos and like going through the guide and a lot of things in the guide and what he said really co coincide with each other. So I was like, oh, okay, so this guide is really helpful to me so it just has like what it is on here i printed this off google i just really typed in keto pdf and that's what showed up um i think it's from like metonics or something metagenics i think yeah so yeah it's from metagenics.com but i just printed off google and it has like getting started and it tells you like the benefits i'm really in it for the mental focus the weight loss and increased energy and of course the cardiovascular and metabolic health um i'm in it for those things you know weight loss but the cognitive function i think that'd be really cool um it has the foods that you can eat of course there are like three fruits on here so again keto low carbs no sugar basically or low sugar um yeah so it's just really you know moderate proteins high fat diet um so yeah they have i can eat basically most meats out here as long as there's really no sugar content in there fats and oils you know coconut oil mtc oil which i was really interested in but i'll wait on that um olive oil avocado oil avocado um i can eat tuna fish all of that and for nuts and seeds you know almonds though the guy on here said in moderation beverages of course coffee tea water um yeah and for tea unsweetened or green tea mineral water sparkling water um you can have like all the herbs y'all all the spices you know hot sauce mustard vinegar garlic bone broth don't worry guys i know all about the keto flu so food to enjoy occasionally so peanuts and stuff berries it says foods to enjoy occasionally but i bought some berries and strawberries and again i have to avoid sugary foods and sauces so no sodas no fruit juices no smoothies no ice cream no candies yeah i've been addicted to snickers and i bought my residents a bunch of ice cream and popsicles so my refrigerator is full of ice cream and popsicles but again no pastas well basically no grains or starches so no rice pasta or cereal most fruits are i have to avoid most soup most fruits except like berries root vegetables and tubers like potatoes and carrots low fat or diet products um because we it's full it's like a high fat diet so um, unhealthy fats such as processed vegetable oil so vegetable oil is out which normally i cook with olive and yeah like no no sweet wines y'all y'all know i like the castello de paggio <sighs> okay and basically just sugar in general and sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners so splend is out sweet and low is out i think stevia is okay i think that's what they said they do give you like a couple days of meal plans to go by but i don't eat none of that <laughs> tells you where to like be careful and watch for like the hidden carbs and stuff like that so salad dressing i really don't like italian so i'll see keep things moving with fiber so they just talked about the mtc oil mct oil and you know water makes sure you stay up on your electrolytes so you can avoid like the keto flu make sure you concern consume leafy vegetables and make sure you're getting like your multivitamin and mineral supplements yeah it just talks about how to know if you're ketosis how to check you know breath meter urine strips and blood meter and it talks about um supplementing your lifestyle again so ketone salt so i actually bought some himalayan salt and it talked about keto adaptation or fat adaptation i was talking about that kind of stuff keto flu it talks about that in here and basically i need to increase my electrolytes during this time drink more water get exercise get plenty of sleep 
and yeah it has all these facts on here there's sources and references on there i really like this little guide i highlighted lots of things in there but the things that i bought to get your girl together i got some broccoli broccoli was on my little list I got some brussels sprouts y'all like i never made brussels sprouts before but i'm gonna try them i'm already familiar with the um cauliflower rice so i'm good with that i also got a large cabbage which i wasn't supposed to be this big but got a nice big old cabbage for snack purposes since i well, i don't want to crave a lot of sweets so i have blueberries and then organic blueberries and strawberries i also just got some little celery snacks i wanted to make some almond butter or something i also got some coconut oil healthy oils and i got a cucumber cucumber snack like y'all know about the vinegar you put all your little spices all your little stuff in there the seasonings and the vinegar and you just kind of make like homemade pickles just like one serving so i got this for that I just 18 large eggs because the eggs will be a big part of my diet and i saw this little snack i just searched in the walmart grocery app because i pick up i always order my groceries but i went ahead and i just put in um i put in like keto snacks and this came up so this right here is a cheese heads combo pack and it's just Kobe Jack and turkey sticks. So I already ate one because I was lying to you something. <laughs> so it comes with three Kobe Jacks and three of these little turkey sticks. So I ate them together. So um, the cheese, the turkey stick is actually 60 calories and the cheese is 90 calories. Um, and it doesn't, it has like the, the turkey stick has one gram of carbohydrate and zero sugars and the cheese has zero carbohydrates and zero sugars so that's what made it keto and it has six gram well six grams of protein in the cheese and five grams of protein in the meat but the fat count is four grams for the turkey and eight grams for the so hey it works out so i'll be eating these almonds so yeah so these have basically six grams of carbohydrates in here and the guy who i've been watching did say almonds in moderation because um of the skin on it it takes longer for the body to digest and stuff like that and he recommended macadamias the most and stuff like that he said pecans were good and sunflower seeds were you know on you know those were good as well so these are a good source of fiber and again things like this he said you know make sure you're getting like your potassium your potassium and all of that your sodium and all of that then also these have protein as well and the sugar count is on this is one so actually these don't have sodium but these have 210 mgs of potassium so i'm trying keto this would be day two but yesterday i was really uninformed i ate some corn so yeah that's my life and i don't know where my pink himalayan salt is so it must be i wanted i never told you guys the meats that i had available to me so boneless chicken breast so i have these i have some salmon so pink salmon skin on fillets sustainably sourced okay i have some lean all natural ground beef chuck so I have some lean ground beef. I didn't even know I had this actually. Um, the farmer's market. Ooh, it's really cold. And it's just a pork brat, pork broth. And it's the Italian spicy kind. So I'm actually going to make this now. The little farmer's market in East Chase. And they were selling this. She had some samples and it was really good. So I was like, hmm. So locally handcrafted. So I did find my sea salt. It was in my car. So I just bought this Himalayan pink salt grinder.